But if it seems like Vin Diesel is in a mood to celebrate... Do I have moves? It's because he is. Two decades, nine films, and six billion dollars later, the Fast and Furious crew is back, and they haven't lost a step. Well, that was new. You were just, can I say, a baby back when this franchise started? We're talking like 20 years ago. The 20-year anniversary is when this film is being released. The Fast franchise has always entertained, but at its core, it's always been about family. I think of the legacy of this franchise as well. I mean, besides the fast cars, the unstoppable action, what else is it about this franchise that has such an enduring legacy? The question that I ask myself as I embark on the finale, Fast 10, and... and it is the last, the 10th? Wow. But I believe at the end of the day, people come to Fast because the characters... We want to know what happens next. We want to know how they evolve. But going it's, uh, back to that legacy, going back to that the legacy, family that you built, the family that we've built, it's, it's you, not just on-screen family. It's not just this, on -screen. These people have been in your life throughout. I mean, that's ultimately what the true blessing is. Work with people that you love. And, of course, this film, you clearly bring up Paul and his legacy throughout the film as well. He's never gone. Ever. He's never forgotten in this franchise. Ever, ever, ever. I never think I'm, I'm continuing the franchise in his absence. I always feel like I'm continuing the franchise in his honor. And as each installment one-ups itself with action and star power, John Cena plays Toretto's estranged brother in Fast 9, the universal appeal of Fast only grows. Will you be my ride or die? Because we've got our own little VIP tram to go see you on your ride. Okay, yes. I mean, <laughs> guys, you want to do that? Ride or die! This one takes you to the jungles, it takes you to Tokyo, London, and outer space. I mean, it's crazy. Where else? I mean, where, where else, else can could you, you go? go? <laughs> yeah. Back in time. Oh, there or the you future. go. Back to the future. For Fast 9, after a year's delay, the future is now. Already grossing nearly $300 million overseas ahead of its U.S. release. It's so surreal to come full circle and to see something completed like that. I don't often reflect back enough on, on yeah. stuff that I've done. I always feel like um, I'm a minute away from having to produce the next film. And for Vin, who is already six months into pre-production on Fast 10, the hope is this movie brings audiences back to the theater. Is there pressure, though, thinking that this is the movie that is hopefully going to pack audiences and pack theaters once again? Last year, I might have been um, frustrated. Now I feel like we're here just in time to salvage that theatrical experience. Good luck and it, it, great success. Godspeed as always. Mi Very padrino. Happy. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you Jeff so much. A very appreciative and thoughtful Vin Diesel. And guys, as he said, this is the first blockbuster to truly test if audiences are ready to get back to theaters. And as you know, with this franchise, this is truly meant to be seen on the big screen. F9 opens only in theaters June 25th across the country, guys. Hey, right. Natalie. Thank they go you. to space? They do go to space. That's not, Al, that's not a spoiler, everything. right? Yeah. Well, they're, they're, I guess they're giving it away. But yeah. uh, Tyrese and, and Ludacris are in space. They go to space. Wow. <laughs> oh Al had a little sneak preview of I self. Did. <laughs> Nick gave it a big thumbs up. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.